Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map. According to RealClearPolling.com, who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. I'm your highly illustrious, ever perfected President Ross, and we are non-biased. Tomorrow is the big day, America. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make history by getting us to 2,000 subscribers. If you get us to 10,000 subscribers, we'll start doing giveaways, cash and gifts giveaways. All right, realclearpolling.com currently has Trump in a 0.1 lead in the national vote. Trump has 48.5% support. The Kamala Harris has 48.4% support. This election is close. Every pollster is saying it's really close. I think, I don't think it's as close as they're claiming. I think it's used to veer off people and to throw people off from both sides. They're saying, oh my God, it's so close that I don't need to vote. My party will, will, will win it for me. You need to get out and vote if you are registered. If you are not registered, it is too late to, to register in most, probably all states. But let's fill in that beautiful election map according to realclearpolling.com. Like, share, and comment who you think is going to win. We have the blue states, as always, are for Democrats, Kamala Harris, which are Washington, Oregon, California, Hawaii, Colorado, New Mexico, parts of Nebraska, Minnesota, Illinois, New York, Virginia, Maine at large, Maine's first district, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and the District of Washington, D.C. Those are for Kamala Harris, giving her 226 electoral votes. The Reds are the states and districts that are for Donald J. Trump. They are Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Alaska, North Dakota, South Dakota, most of Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, and the 2nd District of Maine, giving Donald J. Trump 219 electoral votes. The states that remain are the battleground and the swing states. They are Nevada with 6 electoral votes, Arizona with 11 electoral votes, Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes, Michigan with 15 electoral votes, Georgia with 16 electoral votes, North Carolina with 16 electoral votes, Pennsylvania with 19 electoral votes. Pennsylvania is the big decider of this election. I don't know why the candidates aren't pushing to rally in Pennsylvania all day today. I have no clue. It makes no sense. Let's start off with Nevada. Six electoral votes according to realclearpolling.com. Nevada has Trump at a one-point lead on the dot making Nevada red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, according to RealClearPolling.com, has Trump in a 2.5 lead, making Arizona in its 11 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump, placing him exactly 10 electoral votes ahead of Kamala Harris's 226, Donald J. Trump's 236 electoral votes. Next up, we have Wisconsin. Keep in mind, for about a month, Trump was leading in all of these battleground states, and Kamala Harris in the last week has slowly taken back Wisconsin. She went up one point from yesterday. Wisconsin has Kamala Harris at 0.4, making Wisconsin and its 10 electoral votes blue for Kamala Harris, giving her 236 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 236 electoral votes. Michigan. Donald J. Trump was winning this by 0.2 to 1.5 points for about a week and a half. Kamala Harris, for the last week, has taken it back and has grown support in Michigan. So, as of right now, according to RealClearPolling.com, Kamala Harris is winning Michigan by 1.2. That makes Michigan and its 15 electoral votes blue for Kamala Harris. Next up is Georgia. According to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 1.9 lead in Georgia, making Georgia and its 16 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, with its 16 electoral votes, according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 1.5 lead in North Carolina, making North Carolina and its 16 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump. To 268, to 251. This is the deciding state 
in the 2024 election. Pennsylvania, with its 19 electoral votes, according to RealClearPolling.com, has Donald J. Trump winning by 0.3, making Pennsylvania red for Donald J. Trump, giving him the election not in a landslide, but by a whisker. I am President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are not out because tomorrow is it, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow decides the fate of the nation. Choose wisely and don't blindly believe what either candidate tells you. Look it up for yourself. I'm President Bags. And I'm Ross. And she is out in.